up, party people? Welcome back to another episode of Controversial Album Covers. This is episode number nine. Number nine. So here it is. This is Blind Faith's self-titled debut album. It is actually their only album ever released. It was released on August 9th, 1969. It is arguably one of the most recognizable controversial album covers of all time. So let's get into it. The photographer is Bob Seidman. Seidman grew up in Queens, New York, and his passion and love was airplanes, but unfortunately his grades weren't so super hot, so he started following his second passion, which was photography. He traveled out west and befriended the Grateful Dead, uh, Janis Joplin, Big Brother, and a bunch of other bands at that time. Early on in his career, he was able to pay his bills by doing press photos for these bands uh, and was able to get himself fairly well established. Later on down the road, he was commissioned by his friend and former roommate, Eric Clapton. Did you know that? I did not know that. Uh, and Eric Clapton had asked him to come up with the design for the supergroup band project that he'd been working on with Steve Winwood, Ginger Baker, and Rick Gretsch. Uh, Seidman is quoted as saying, I could not get my hands on the image until out of the mist a concept began to emerge. To symbolize the achievement of human creativity and its expression through technology, a spaceship was the material object. To carry the new spore into the universe, innocence would be the ideal bearer. A young girl, a girl as young as Shakespeare's Juliet. The, sh the spaceship would be the fruit of the tree of knowledge and the girl would be the fruit of the tree of life. The spaceship could be made by my friend Mick Milligan, a jeweler in Royal College of the Art. The girl was another matter. If she was too old, it would be cheesecake. If she was too young, it would be nothing. The beginning of the transition from a girl to a woman, that is what I was after. The temporal point. The singular flare of radiant innocence. Well, obviously the record company objected to this cover, and Eric Clapton stomped his feet and held his breath and got his way. However, it was not originally released in the U.S. with this cover because they said not a chance, so they released it with this. This picture of the band was actually taken in London's Hyde Park. Uh, back to this beauty. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bizarre rumors started circulating when this was released that the girl was Ginger Baker's daughter or a groupie that they had tied up and kept as a sex slave. None of that is true because the girl is actually 11 years old. Her name is Mariora Goshen. Uh, Sidemen saw her 14-year-old daughter on the subway and thought she'd be perfect. And then when they started shooting, she realized he realized she was probably a little bit old and decided to use uh, Mar Maori, Mariori. Mariora, it's hard to pronounce. Uh, and she was paid $40 at a time. However, she wanted a horse and tried to get a horse out of him and she never did. Uh, once it was shot, he loved it and he titled it <laughs> Blind Faith. I didn't know that either. Clapton loved both and that is where he got the name for the band. Blind Faith is actually the title of this art piece. According to Seidman's wife, she said that after, even after he had passed, the image was never supposed to be titillating. He described it to her as the aircraft is science and the future, and Goshen is the innocent carrying that into the future. Uh, unfortunately, Seidman died in 2017, but he had an illustrious career and has over 60 albums to his title, including... Several Grateful Dead albums, On the Beach by Neil Young, uh, Little Queen, The Bengals, Super Tramp, Jackson Brown, Herbie Hancock, Tommy Two-Tone, Molly Hatchet, and he actually has one other album cover on our Controversial Album Cover series. Can you guess what it is or do you know? Let me know in the comments. As always, thanks for watching, and here's the Tigger Tigger. Later. Tigger, are you trying to be a star?